As it stands now, when we speak of economic transformation, we're referring to having Tanzania as a middle income country come 2025. People will have better standard of living and then you will have um, urban life that accommodates not only the people from the urban areas but also maybe creating new urban areas at the same time having the contribution of GDP expanding not necessarily just in agriculture but in manufacturing and also in the industry and becoming more productive. If you're growing let's say as a country and you are actually having a system that is inclusive of everyone in the country, then that's the kind of transformation every country would want to see. There are different providers of finances. It could be the government, it could be the commercial banks. You will want them not only to provide money to services like trading, but you'll want to see them also supporting manufacturing, where we know in that particular sector a lot of people will be employed, innovation does take place. And on the same side, if you want to see um, uh, increased agricultural productivity, you will want to see support uh, taken into agriculture, both uh, in supporting skills being developed, but also uh, varieties that are being used in agriculture are also developed. The contribution of agriculture in GDP is going down. For me, economic transformation also entails learning within Tanzania from the, um, from the areas where we see we do need to make progress and we're struggling and from the areas where we see that we are making progress and how should we replicate that but not necessarily meaning coming up with new things, but rather work on the ideas that we have and enhancing those. I did a comparative study between Tanzania and Vietnam of cashew nut industry. When you look at the cashew industry, what you see is there is support for production side. And, and by this I mean you see subsidies for inputs provided to the farmers. But that one area whereby we can see a lot of progress in terms of economic transformation is to support the processes. Because the processes do add value, they employ a lot of people. And by adding value, it means we also get more earnings from what they have uh, produced. And I'm sure a lot of other sectors can go by such an example. And that is the sort of economic transformation we will want to see.